And there is a new Hell Let Loose dev briefing. The new map Mortain is this weekend live on the test server. So if you want to go play this new map on the test server, hop over to the Hell Let Loose Steam page and download the test server. So yes, and look at it. We immediately start with a beautiful screenshot of the map. It it looks a bit like a, a studio, this doll. It looks uh, it looks too clean. The whole church building looks too clean for my taste, but I'm sure it is different in game. It still looks very, very nice with all the broken buildings. And they start off, first off, a huge welcome to all our new players. Our recent influx of players who've joined us on console and PC. It's completely normal to be closing down your machine for the day. After an abundance of deaths compounded by disorientation and dubious reactions from veteran players. What does that mean? Dubious reactions from veteran players? Well, have, have we all been bastards? I always try to help the new players. So, um, that is a weird thing to say in a dev briefing though. But, you know, the first round of public testing for our new warfare and offensive map Mortain starts now taking place over the weekend running until monday the 22nd of january 11 am gmt we loved seeing our excitement for matthane's reveals in our previous dev briefing so we're opening the doors early for feedback Mortain is still a few months out so we want to collate your impressions we so we want to collect your impressions as soon as we can to ensure it's polished and balanced for a release. And uh, yes, I'm very much looking forward to the new map because overall the new maps keep the game fresh, right? And that is what we're all looking for. This testing period aims to gather your insight on the overall level design. We want your thoughts on capture points, play styles, vehicle spawns, artillery positioning, pre-placed garrisons, flow art and any issue you may encounter please scroll to the button of the page for links to the forms to fill out feedback thank you all of you who are taking the time to participate and help improve mortain so we're gonna get a whole history summary uh, you know uh, I'm sure it's all good the art of maintain I'm sure it's all good the level design Capture the point of Hill 314. For Hill 314, we want to take a location that we are both historically accurate and exciting for the Hell Let Loose experience. Never seen before in a Central European map, the high elevation provides an excellent vantage point and supports a rocket challenging terrain for vehicles to have to na navigate. Uh, the defenses trenches provide opportunities for gritty infantry focused crossfire battles to take place and uh yeah the trenches always look nice they're always a bit too shallow for my taste why would you dig such a shallow trench but um it always looks nice capture point petite chapelle saint michael the capture point is uh, majesty of the petite chapelle saint michael we decided to make that the heart of the capture point theme taking a reference of the exciting countryside at the time this enabled us to cater to a dense woodland experience to break up those long sidelines the natural terrain encourages players to build their defensive network to maintain maximum control of this point and again it looks absolutely amazing Yes, I, I do love that. The capture point Hotel La Poste, situated as the last bastion of the US defense of Mortain. The Hotel de La Poste tells the story of how battered the town was with artillery fire during Operation Litlich. I probably butchered that name through a capture point blend of narrow, partial, destroyed streets, fragmented urban warfare, and close quarters combat. And, uh, well, it's good that you hang the sign on the wall, because else nobody would have guessed that was the Grand Hotel post. It doesn't look that grand anymore. Capture Point, German Recon Camp. 
with this capture point we want to create a versatile yet a believable outpost that the German forces could have used to scout the allied forces at Petit, Chamel, St. Michael and Hill 314. This camp features two netted trench systems tied in the height to allow for infantry crossfire between them. Both trench, surrounded and a lookout tower, which is prime position for officers to mark approaching enemies through their binoculars and coordinate the team's defensive strategy. Wow, that does look amazing. Yes, very nice, very nice all. Capture point, destroy German convoy. The destroyed German convoy captures the theme of the true story based on the fleeing German forces that were stopped in their tracks by artillery fire. We know these events happened, but we're unsure of where exactly. Because we found the story compelling, we decided to use this event as the capture point theme and provide routes along the main road that vehicles would have to either carefully navigate or employ their strategic battle plan to circumvent uh, the area and um, yeah 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 development and approach our approach to map creation uh, follows a series of stages from our internal workflows and processes with feedback and reviews to follow each stage with Mortain we focused on layout and theme of the capture point going through several rounds of alliteration and feedback to make sure that they flowed nicely and were believable before expanding this process out into what we call transitional areas. A transitional area is defined as a space in between that connects each of the capture points to allow the player a seamless transaction from area to area. And here we can see a partial map yeah, it doesn't tell me much, does it? I see the roads, I see a small village. I'm pretty sure it's good. I love this. Look at the sky. This looks so pretty. The ground is a bit flat and there is no grass yet. And this is probably the builder that the devs use, right? Because that's what it looks like. And um, yeah, see, here we go. This looks exactly like the building process. It's interesting to see, right? Look at that artillery, spawn points. Very nice, very nice HQ shots. And yeah, what can you else say? It's uh, interesting to see it from this perspective. All the trees, all the boxes around. Very nice all. Playtesting. With regard to playtesting, it was important not only enjoy the fruits of the team's labor, but to highlight and catch any fundamental issues with how the map flows and functions. Dedicated commanders, officers and tank commanders who had a lot of experience with Hell and Loose were assigned beforehand to ensure that no matter what stage of development the map was at, the match would be played as close to authentic as possible. Following the conclusion of the match, a debriefing session was held to discuss any issues and feedback from the team. These were always captured and collected so that we could take appropriate action to strengthen the map. We were also not afraid to constrive our playtests to cater to specific scenarios. For example, if we were unsure of how to particular capture point worked for a level design point of view, we would spend time focusing only on that single capture point and address any feedback. And there are some known issues. The client will crash when choosing to leave the server, floating artillery pieces, and the user is unable to down outpost or garrison when standing on the rubble piles or the sideward. Where is the roadmap of 2024 in essentially finished? The content is all planned and the dates have been set. We just need to do our due diligence and ensure that all disciplines agree on timelines to ensure that we deliver the promised content on time, which is not unimportant, is it? As we saw in 2023 with the Allies and the Polish, I mean, with the British forces and the Polish forces, then we would focus on turning an exhaustive spreadsheet into an appealing asset. We're hoping to share this in February. We'll keep you 
post it. The work in progress, these PTE sessions are the way for you as a community to give feedback to the Hell Let Loose work in progress, which means we can look be implemented your feedback before a patch or update is released streaming and recording you're always happy to record and that was about it so this weekend there will be the map mortia on the test server which uh, will be amazing i can't wait so uh, again if you want to participate in the test server hop over to steam and download the hell let loose test server don't forget to like and subscribe the video and I will see you all next time.